hello everyone hope so you all will be doing good so our today's topic is biological and pharmaceutical importance of proteins that what are the biological and pharmaceutical pro importance of protein as i have discussed in my previous video about the importance of lipids so must go through it and now today we are going to discuss about proteins so let's go that what's there for us biological importance of protein that is our first time that what are the biological importance of proteins so the very first point is that the growth and maintenance of our body that is related to proteins as we know that in our daily life if we are healthy enough and we don't have an illness or a disease state so the our body do the breakdown of protein and that breakdown of protein is used to build and repair our tissues of body so we don't need an extra amount of proteins so we can say that under normal circumstances your body breaks down the same amount of protein that it use, uses to build and repair tissues now if we have our disease state then it break down more protein than it can create thus increasing our body's need so it means that in a disease state the protein use or the protein needs to our body is increased from the normal level it is because of the period of illness during pregnancy while breastfeeding a baby now if the people recovering from injury or surgery what does it mean that it they need to repair their tissue other than other than a normal way so we will need more proteins other adults and athletes require more protein as well at least and other adults older adults also need uh, more protein in for the body requirement so injury and surgery is included like in a period of illness now the second point is that the cause of biological reaction is just because of proteins why because enzymes are the substances that speed our speed up our biochemical reactions so enzymes are proteins that aid the thousands of biologic biochemical reaction that take place with within and outside of the your cell that is an important point that protein are enzyme in enzymes are protein in nature so they aid the thousands of biochemical reaction uh, that are needed or you may say they are running or you may say they are reacting inside our body or outside of our cell so the structure of enzymes so going toward the enzymes so enzymes have a structures that allow to combine with other molecule inside the cell called substrate substrate is an important point in enzymes so we are not going to discuss the detailed structure of enzyme so which catalyze the reaction that are essential for your metabolism so that is an important point you may say that the structure that is made up of protein can catalyze the reaction of reaction that is essential to your body so this was about the two points so going toward the next point so as it is continued about enzyme so enzyme have certain functions upon which our body depends that these are digestion uh, in our next video we will discuss about enzymes that how enzymes or you may say the digestive function of body is dependent on enzyme and about the energy production blood clotting muscle contraction these are the 
bodily functions which depend on enzyme mostly so another main importance of protein that are acting as messenger some proteins are hormones while we have some hormones in our body that are proteins in nature which are chemical messenger that aid communication between your cell tissues and organ that is pretty much simple to us uh, so no need of an extra explanation that another point about acting as a messenger that they are made and secreted by endocrine tissues or gland so the place of production of these protein are endocrine tissues or gland and then transported transported in your body to target tissue or organ target tissue is targeted where they bind to protein receptor on the cell surface that is pretty much simple i think we don't need any extra explanation so it is still continue we have another point that it provides structures to our body some protein are fibrous and provide cells and tissue tissues with stiffness stiffness and rigidity stiffness is like strongness or you may say giving support and rigidity is like the same so these protein include keratin collagen and elastin which help the, to form the connective framework of a certain structures in your body so keratin is a structured protein that is found in your skin hair and nails that is about keratin let's see about collagen that uh, our keratin is found in our skin hair and nails collagen is the most abundant protein in our body and it is uh, is the structure protein of your bones tendons ligaments and skin so that is about collagen that where it is present i have just explained a little so uh, because to uh, support my um, point that it provides structures so collagen and pro keratin these are protein and these provide the structure to our body so now elastin the third one that it is several hundred times more flexible than collagen its high elasticity allows many tissue in our body to return to their original shape of stretching or contraction such as your uterus lungs and arteries uh, i think it's uh, clearly understandable so no need of explanation about that so as it is continued our five point or you may say number five point is that maintains a proper pH of our body. Protein plays a vital role in regulating the concentration of acid and bases in your body or your blood and other bodily fluids in a constant concentration. As the variety of buffering system allows your bodily fluids to maintain normal pH ranges, a constant pH is necessary as even a slight change in pH can be harmful or potentially deadly. One way your body regulates pH is with proteins. An example is hemoglobin. That is uh, my support to my whole sentences that hemoglobin, a protein that make up the red blood cell, regulate our body pH in some way so it is a big explanation or you may say uh, it has a lot of inform explanations so we are not going toward that so i want i don't want to divert my topic so in a way it maintains proper ph as it is continued so our number six point is bolster of immune system or you may say supporting our immune health 
so how protein are supporting our immune health that protein help the forming of immunoglobulins or antib antibodies to fight infection as may maybe you have heard about the antibodies that antibodies are made of proteins so you simply antibodies are protein in nature so protein help to forming immunoglobulins or antib antibodies to fight infection antibodies are protein in your blood that help protect your body from harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses if you don't have about heard about antibodies so there is a short explanation about antibodies that is a protein to help or you may say to protect our body from harmful invaders like bacteria and viruses when these foreign invaders enter your cells your body produce antibodies that take them for elimination oh uh, that's a pretty much simple explanation i think without these antibodies bacteria and viruses would be free to multiply and overwhelm your body with the disease by cause they cause i think it's a simple and understandable language or you may say and understandable words so no need of uh, more explanation about that so now we will discuss about the pharmaceutical importance of proteins that what are the pharmaceutical importance of proteins so number one that is about antifreeze proteins so we have some proteins that are being used in industry as an antifreezing agent so protein that bind to ice and modify the growth of ice crystal they perform the seroprotective role in a variety of organisms so we can say that some there are some protein that can bind to the ice and modifying the growth of ice crystal proteins based drug so we have some protein that are based on drugs so these are following number one that is dornase alpha it is a synthetic form of human deoxyribonuclease one used to break down extracellular dna in the lungs a major source of mucus viscosity in cystic fibrosis uh, it is a uh, explanation about this this drug so we are not going in detail about this drug so it is just a little explanation about this uh, that it is a synthetic form of deoxyribonuclease one uh, which is used to break the extracellular dna in the lungs a major source of viscosity mucus viscosity in cystic cystic fibrosis uh, another a short explanation that is uh, it is a biosynthetic form of human deoxyribonuclease one dna is one enzyme it is produced in genetically modified chinese hamster ovary CHO cells using recombinant DNA technology so uh, it is produced genetically uh, that is the source of production uh, in a Chinese hamster ovary cells by using a recombinant DNA technology you must know about it if you are uh, watching this video because it is for higher level I think as it is continues so we will discuss about the second drug that is based on protein that is sermorlin so it is used for the treatment of dwarfism prevention of hiv induced weight loss so it is basically the acetate salt of immediated synthetic 29 amino acid peptide that correspond to the amino terminal segment of the naturally occurring uh, human growth hormone uh, that is consisting of 44 amino acid residues so our next point that is about the beta lactoglobulin potential source of essential amino acid used in power drinks and confectionery products so confectionery products are the baked products that are made primarily with sugar that is about the confectionery products so it is a little explanation most bakery produce and sell confectionery products most bakery produce and sell confectionery products cakes pastries and cookies are considered to be bakers confectionery product so we can say that 
beta lactoglobulin it is a essential amino acid or uh, a protein that is used in drinks and confectionery products it is the third importance or you may say the third pharmaceutical importance as it is continued so number four point that is alpha lactalbumin alpha lactalbumin it is used in infant formula and as a neutraceutical because of its high tryptophan content so we can say that alpha lactalbumin is used in infant formula and neutraceutical and tryptophan is discussed below right now so neutraceuticals are products which other than nutrition are also used as medicine mean that nutraceutical are those products which can be used other than uh, nutrition as a medicine too so a nutraceutical product may be defined as a substance which has physiological benefit or provide protection against chronic disease uh, that is a simple definition about nutraceutical and about uh, tryptophan that is essential amino acid it serves several important purposes like nitrogen balance in adults and growth in infants still it is continued so the number five or you may say number five point is bovin serum albumin Potential of fatty acid binding, anti-mutagenic function and cancer prevention. It is used as standard protein. What does it mean that bovin serum albumin is used as potential of fatty acid binding? Mean that uh, it is used as a potential or uh, potential agent of fatty acid to have a proper binding and anti-mutagenic. Anti-mutagenic is discussed right now below and the cancer prevention or it is also used as a standard protein anti mutagenic means that these are the agent that interfere with the mutagenicity mutagenicity of a substance the interference can be in a form of prevention of a transformation of a mutagenic compound into mutagen inactivation or otherwise the prevention of mutagen dna reaction or it is a simple definition about anti mutagens so this was the last point well thank you for watching my video uh, keep watching or you may say keep subscribing for the upcoming latest videos thank you once again goodbye Allah Hafiz